Today on Engineering Newswire, we're injecting nano diamonds into our teeth, teaching robots to fall gracefully, and 3D printing a functioning railgun. Americans go through 41,000 root canal procedures every day. It works out to be about 15 million a year, and I'm certainly good for one or two per year. Like, uh, like everything, like here and back. Fake. Got a, got a car, or like a garage in there. I mean, and there's nothing like having your dentist joke about having the grill of a 70 year old woman. I don't know why she always uses a female in that joke. While we have yet to find a way to usher the painful procedure into obsolescence, researchers at the UCLA School of Dentistry may have found a way to significantly improve patient outcomes and make sure that it is more of a one-and-done process. You know, other than basic dental health. According to a paper published in ACS Nano, researchers are working with Nano Diamonds, a diamond refining and mining byproduct to fortify gutta percha the polymer that dentists inject into your empty canal after they scrape out all that infected pulp. The nano diamonds, which are thousands of times smaller than a human hair, not only reinforce the polymer's strength, but researchers have even preloaded one version with amoxicillin, which effectively prevented bacteria growth. The study involved UCLA researchers with expertise in a wide range of disciplines, from material science and nanotechnology to microbiology, toxicology, and endontics. During the next two years, the team plans to optimize the nanodiamond reinforced gutta percha to begin clinical trials. I mean, just maybe step up that timeline a bit because I'm, I'm running on the second and thirds here. Just gonna wipe them out. As costly robots become more common in manufacturing alongside humans, it's becoming more important to prevent any kind of damage. So, Georgia Tech researchers have found a way to teach robots to fall with grace. Two PhD graduate students have developed a new algorithm that tells a robot how to react to a variety of falls, from a single step to recover from a gentle nudge, to a rolling motion that breaks a high-speed fall. The planning algorithm was validated in physics simulation and experimentally tested on a bioloid GP humanoid robot. The work is giving robots a tool to automatically determine the total number of contacts, the order of contacts, and the position and timing of those contacts. The study builds upon one of the researchers' previous investigation into how cats modify their bodies in the midst of a fall. From this work, they knew that one of the most important factors in a fall is the angle of the landing. So what were they doing, just like throwing cats on the ground and seeing how they fall? They also realized that a well-designed robot has the brain to compute a softer landing, but hasn't yet optimized the sequence of motions that take place during a fall. Therefore, their new algorithm takes into account the hardware constraints and capabilities of the robot. Let's see if it works. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh, oh no. gosh. YouTube users are known for doing some pretty interesting and crazy things for views. Sometimes, just dumb things. Get over here! Excellent. Team. Oh! <laughs> Recently, YouTube user Xtamered. 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 Built a partially 3D printed railgun. Railguns work by using parallel electrodes to fire an armature bullet. This particular railgun isn't quite as powerful, but is capable of firing aluminum and graphite projectiles at more than 560 miles per hour. The device itself houses six capacitors and weighs 20 pounds and delivers more than 3,000 kilojoules of energy per shot. The creator also added an Arduino Uno R3 to monitor factors such as charging levels and temperature. The video is captioned, I have no idea what happened to that piece of carbon. Probably just vaporized. In a third test, the projectile makes a half inch deep indent in the target before bouncing off. So while it may not be as explosive as the Navy's electromagnetic railgun,
It is a successful proof of concept for repeatable shots on the same set of rails, and a pretty great example of how 3D printing enables makers to do some pretty incredible things. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. <laughs>